Hey YouTube. Well, um, just a few days ago, someone asked me, uh, how do I determine the um, the uh, displacement? Uh, how do I range that out? Like, what I'm saying, for example, is, uh, you know, if it's a five point, um, say it's like a 5.0 or something like that, you know, Ford. Um, how do I uh, figure out what's the displacement in cubic inches and stuff? Um, I found uh, one way to go from uh, cubic inches to uh, um, liters. So uh, I'm going to explain that. Once you guys figure this out, you should be able to figure out any other way to uh, go back. Like so, um, go from um, liters to cc um, to uh, cubic inches and stuff. Uh, the thing with what people don't realize is when they say oh, my car's got like, I don't know, 5.7, 5.0 or something like that, they don't realize that the fact that uh, those are two different types between cubic inches and um, and liters. Uh, they're two different types of measurements. One's metric, one's standard. Uh, liters is metric, so we actually have to convert it down to cc's uh, before we can figure out the liters. Uh, once you figure out the cc's, it's actually very easy to figure out liters. So I have the formulas up here. One cubic inch um, is equivalent to 16.38706 cc's, uh, 64 cc's, I'm sorry. And one liter is 1,000 cc's, so cubic centimeters. So let's say, for example, I used a Chevy 350 small block. Um, an easy way to figure that thing out is look at these jackass going down the road on four wheelers and dirt bikes. But uh, anyways, um, so engine displacement. So I used a 350 uh, small block. Uh, let's pretend uh, none of you guys know what the leader this is, and all of a sudden, well, you do know what it is. But I'm going to show you how what uh, to uh, figure out the uh, uh, leaders from cubic inches. So what we did first was I actually did a took an extra step and I divided it by the number of cylinders. So this will even show you what the displacement is per cylinder. So if you look here, I started out with a 350 um, small block V8, divided it by eight, and um, that gave me 4.75 cubic inches per cylinder. And then I multiplied that by 16. Point 3706 which is centimeters so now this is where we convert over to metric this number will keep going on and on and on the reason why it doesn't keep going on is because inches and metric are two different types of measurements so it will never turn out to be the exact same as inches will so there's no exact conversion for metric to inches like let's say you know 14 millimeter 916 trench they're very close but they're not the same size, but you usually can take off the same bolts with them. So that's what I'm saying. So now what we're doing is that's an estimate of the conversion. So when you get to that stage, it's rounding numbers up. So now what I did was I uh, winded up getting 16, 716 c um, cc's per cylinder. So that's 716 cc's in each one of those cylinders. Uh, and that's not a 350. Um, Chevy, that's a uh, 289 Ford. Um, I have the formulas for that too. So 716. Um, now I multiplied that times 8 and got 5,735.4724 or 5,735.5 total cc's. So the 350 Chevy small block has 5,735 cc's. Now what I did was I rounded it and I switched it over to liters. Now, if you look up here, one liter equals 1,000 cc's. So, all I did was, let me check something quick. All right, never mind. Sorry. So, 1,000 cc's is one liter. So, what I just do is I take the decimal point and I move it up to there. So, it's 5.7. So the Chevy 350 small block V8 is a 5.7 liter engine. So that's how you figure out the liter. Google it right now. Right after you're done watching this video, go look up what's the uh, um, what's the uh, liter for a 350 Chevy small block. 
it'll tell you right there. The first thing you'll see come up, 5.7 liter. So, that's how you found it. Now, I use dirt bikes, for example, because I'm a small engine mechanic, and I know a lot of you kids out there know more about dirt bikes than you do about cars. So, 250cc dirt bike is a, a 0.25 liter, or it's rounded up to 3 liter, 0.03 liter. Um, well, 0.3 liter, I'm sorry. And then 125 is 0.12, or probably 0.13 liter. So that's about a cup. Yeah, think about it. Now, this is where I did this engine here. This is a 73 Dodge Challenger. I have the hood off and opened up. It's my dad's car and stuff. He had it for a few years. It sits more than it runs, but uh, it's kind of a shame for it. But he just doesn't have the time to run it and stuff. Uh, the reason why there's no tarp on it here right now is because the mice are digging underneath it. So we had to keep the tarp off because they were going underneath the tarp and crawling around underneath there. So we left the tarp off and we never had any issues since we just waxed it and stuff before we put it away. All right, 350 small block, did the same uh, calculations. So that's CI per cylinder, so here's, that's 42 point um, cubic inches per cylinder, cc's per cylinder, about 696, so about 700 cc's. Each one of these cylinders in here has about 700 cc's in it. And then what I did is I multiplied that times eight, five, five, 5,571 and wind it up with a 5.57 liter engine. I haven't really, you can't really find too many of the liter specs on here, but you look at some places and stuff and they'll tell you it's a 5.57 liter. Uh, that's what I rounded it up to. Um, I was going to guess 5.6, but I guess 5.57 liter, it's the same thing. Um, now here's the 289. It's a 4.73 liter uh, when I did all the math. Uh, math. Now, actually, I simplified it this here. All I did was the 289 times the 16.387, so I converted over to cc's right there, 4,735 cc's in that engine right there. That's a 289. Um, now, what that turned out to be is 4.73 liter, and I believe the 289s uh, eventually turned over to the 5.0. That engine over there, sitting on the car, that's a 5.0. So, this here is just a 289 Ford. And that's 5.0 over here. Um, horsepower and stuff like that, it has nothing to do with this kind of stuff here. Uh, it's all displacement. Horsepower depends on the modifications you have, what, the, uh, what kind of intake you have on it. You can't determine horsepower by any of this stuff, sorry um, to say. But, you know, someone asked me, oh, how much horsepower does a 250cc engine have? Uh, well, what are you talking about? Two-stroke like that YZ250 sitting out there, or a four-stroke 250. Uh, you know, the two totally different types of horsepowers, uh, compression ratios and stuff like that, and what's all done to it and stuff. The horsepower can't be determined by that way. But uh, displacement, converting it over to uh, metric and to standard, uh, it's pretty. It's not. It's not difficult at all. So uh, that's just how you do it. Thought I might show that. Um, to you guys, uh, so, you know, someone asked me about it, so uh, I figured I might explain it. 